What's going on everybody, you're watching Bricks Live, back with another LEGO video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Light My Bricks LEGO lighting system. This is a custom made uh, company that makes these lighting systems. The one I've got here in particular is designed to go with the old fishing stool, which is a LEGO Ideas set and one of my personal favourite LEGO sets of all time. But before we get into the video, please consider giving this video a like if you enjoy this kind of content and also consider subscribing to the channel for more LEGO videos. So let's have a closer look at this kit. Okay, so as far as installing these lights into the set, it wasn't too difficult to do. Uh, there's instructions online which are pretty straightforward. And I'm pretty sure anyone can view them even if you haven't bought this set. So if you're worried, you can probably have a look at them. Uh, there are a few sections where you have to pull pieces off, as you can see in the footage in the background playing. Uh, but overall, it was pretty simple. The only tricky part, I'd say, was feeding the wires from the top tower down through to the bottom of the building, where some of the main expansion boards are, tucked inside the bottom of that tower, and then placed back on. That was a bit tricky to get right. Probably the only real problem, I'd say, with this set, which isn't really a problem, just my opinion, is that there are a section where you have to put some strip lights directly onto the parts from the actual set. They don't include an extra piece to put it onto. But it's not too bad and I'm pretty sure it would still come off pretty easily. Okay, so with all the lights installed now, you can see it's pretty hidden, all the lights. Uh, there's not very many wires you can see from the outside. You can just see a few running here and there. It was pretty simple to install following the instructions. Also around the back you see there's this big uh, long cord which goes to the USB cable. Unfortunately it doesn't include battery pack with this particular kit, but you can also get them. So we'll need either a power bank or a phone charger or something like that to get power to this uh, particular kit. And once you plug it into the power bank, you can see all the lights come straight on. And I think it looks pretty awesome. So on this kit here, you can see we've got uh, these two outdoor lights right here. One on this side and one on the other side here as well as there is a few lights inside this building such as in this front window there there's a closer look at that one and also over here under the uh, front sign it does have these this LED strip which runs along sticks directly onto the Lego uh, you'll see in a minute on the uh, lights inside the building they actually include extra 1x6 plates, but this one here is stuck straight to the set. I do wish it did come with one more 1x6 plate instead of sticking it under the actual set, but that's how it comes in this kit. And because of all the wires running into this, it is quite difficult to take off the roof and the top story. You have to be really careful because of the wires, but you can see there's lights inside the building on the roof. And they are these strip lights as well, which have two LEDs in them. And you can see all the wires that run around, around the top of the roof. And they go straight through that little uh, doorway there. And as you can see, once I've turned those lights off, they do include these 1x6 plates, which you can stick the uh, LED strips to. 
So that way you can reuse them on a different set if you wanted to later on. Moving up to the top of the building now, uh, you can take off this roof section here, but there is a wire that runs there and attaches to it. And there's one LED bit light which goes under this uh, Lego piece here, this uh, inverted tile there. And that's pretty well hidden. It does leave the wire a little bit exposed in between the, you can see between the windows there, but it's not too bad. Uh, the next level here as well can be taken off carefully, although this wire is even shorter. You can only move it about that much. And this is where you tuck the uh, extender, the expansion board there, and most of the wires to hide them in the uh, building there. And you can see one of the wires runs into the other side of the building, and the other one goes down to the front lamp. So overall, yes, I think LEGO lighting is a really cool idea, and it definitely enhances the displayability of a LEGO set. Uh, there are a few downsides, I guess. There is the wires, which you can see in a few places. There's probably a way that you could hide them a little bit more, but uh, I don't really see how you could hide ones like these on the sides. But overall, I don't think it's too bad. The other thing is you can't really take off uh, the sections of the building too easily or very much because of the wires. But I don't really see how you could fix that problem. But overall, if you're putting lights in your... Lego sets, it's probably more for display anyway. So, yes, I would recommend giving it a go. So, that concludes my look at the... So, that concludes my look at the Light My Bricks Lego Lighting Kit. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to give it a like and also subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more. And thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon.